A day of action and a day of violence. Anger over labor law reforms exploding on the streets of Paris. 150,000 took part in nationwide demonstrations, backing unions in an ongoing government standoff. The government's deaf. What do you want me to say? The prime minister should buy himself a hearing aid. As long as he keeps his heels dug in, the conflict will go on. Their aim is to choke off fuel supplies, and it's clearly working. Blockades at the country's oil refineries have triggered panic buying and seemingly endless queues. I find it obnoxious, those helping out this blockade and these strikers. It's causing panic. People are unable to get fuel. I find it's a little bit too much. But there's little hope of compromise. Riot police clearing this blockade, the latest sign of the government's intent. A surprise surge in consumer confidence to its highest level in nearly nine years gives some credence to President Hollande's assertions that the economy is improving. But he says the reforms are needed if unemployment is to go any lower. I think there's a, a lot more needs to be done in order to tap into the undoubted potential that the French economy has. And of course, uh, across the Rhine in Germany, they'll say, look, we did this uh, 10 or more years ago. Uh, we think this is a, a good way to go. And uh, maybe you can learn some lessons from us. Hollande and the government are standing firm for now, but the key test of their resolve could be this time next year in the form of a presidential election.